their land will work with the playing school. An agenda in front of you. Um, is there any additions or deletions from the agenda? Sorry. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Um, you have the minutes of August the 8th, the regular council meeting, as well as the minutes of the August 15th committee of the whole meeting. Do you have a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. I'll second that. Okay. Any errors, submissions, or deletions? Any other questions? Okay. Um, public comments. Is there any public comments? Okay. Okay. Then, um, CAO report. Uh, the release of in camera resolution from the August 8th in camera meeting of council meeting. So, through the Mayor Council, um, item 7.1 is um, released from confidential for information only. No, there, there was a press release going out on that today. Did you get my notes back? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 7.2. Uh, through the Mayor Council, the recommendation on this item is that Council receive and file temporary use application 2022 01 for 382 Spruce Street. Um, the reasons for the recommendation are provided in the report. Comment or anybody feel uh, they can make the uh, recommendation. Seconder. Second. Any comments? Yes. So it talks a lot about siding and the and the looks of the building. Um, do we have a it wasn't included in the package for the, the picture of what this building looks like. Uh, through the Mary Council, there was a picture provided with the application, and I do apologize for it not making its way onto the council agenda. Um, it is an ATCO style trailer. Um, well, not an ATCO specifically, but same kind of style. So two entryways and more of an industrial look. So other questions? So obviously it wasn't a new uh, mobile. Correct. It's not a, it doesn't appear to be manufactured as a Z240 standard. It's whatever a industrial cap um, dwelling unit is designed as. Well, I have a, I have a question for council just before we vote on this. If, if person had come asking to um, new trailer there in zone R5 where that was. We give them an alternative, like, like to me, I agree with you. Um, you know, like there's just no <coughs> way that that would. That's, that's too subjective, but it was just, I, did, I looked at it. And, um, You can you can see his floor plan there, his lot mm -hmm. plan. And so what does he have? 23 foot setbacks on on uh, two sides. If I may. Yeah. Um, so under the R1 zoning, the, the zone does permit a double wide trailer to be placed on the property as long as it's placed on permanent foundation. Um, the single wide trailer would need to be placed on, in an all. I believe R4 zone. Um, otherwise, it'd have to be um, a double trailer or an actual structure place on the property. I did. I, I, you know, you know, as much as we see uh, the issue about housing, I, I don't think putting in ADCO style trailers. You know, I, I understand. You know, he's got some staffing. 
but I would encourage the applicant to look at something that maybe we could have a look at. If it is a double wide trailer, if it's any of those things that more conform, uh, conforms with our uh, policies and bylaws, then I, I would. I think it'd be good. To, I don't know how we do this, but somehow educating the public to, to, to check with the with the planning process. Lots that are empty because then it's, it's really frustrating for them once they bought it. But to, you know, I don't, I'm not sure the process if they've already bought it or we're looking at it proposed. I'm not sure that they need that, but um, that's the key piece for people to understand what they can and can't do. Um, you know, if there was not. I think that's good. Right now it's empty. It's not it's it's not a good looking look. So um, you know, a nice newer piece of property, not piece of property, but a, but a housing alternative would be good. So uh, I think if we lower the bar to where we're putting those types of buildings around town a few years from now, that would really cause us some problems. Right? Even right away, you know. You would set the bar at the whole yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be trying to get away from that. And, and even though we're facing a bit, you know, a real crunch, this isn't an answer. No, I would encourage you to come to work with that yeah. conversation. Yeah. All there? Opposed? Carry. Okay. Coastal gas link, chain link fence. <clears throat> Council, this report was authored by our director of operations. Uh, the recommendation tonight is for the fencing to be installed at the airport for apron security for the cost of to 2023 budget deliberations. If there are any questions, our director of operations is here to speak to the report. Questions? Uh, quick Google Earth check of that camp is 1.8 or 1.7 kilometers of fencing. Um, I think when uh, we were out uh, with the president of VADS and, and, and a bunch of other people, there were some thoughts about where to put that. So um, I, I look forward to putting it in the 2023 budget and I'll make that motion, but I would also say that we should look at the users to make sure that we tie everything in where needed and use the Fence that the fence that may be or is going to go up for the wildfire parking. It's kind of a long but I would. Well, I guess to me is, I agree with you. I just want to have measured out the fencing along along Northside Road. I guess it's called it. It's half a kilometer, so it's a half a kilometer this side, half a kilometer that side. It's one kilometer, and then it's the sides. Which you say is what? 1.8 kilometers of fencing total, okay. all the way around. Okay. So the thing is, so <clears throat> that's 1,800 meters for, um, try and think what you call it. But it's about three times as much as, well, for sure, it's three times as much as this. Okay. Well, I guess my question is what we were led to believe is that we were getting all the fencing, but this is obvious that they're not going to. I, I wish I'd known this a week ago when we met with CGL. We, I, I was fully under the impression that we were getting all the fence. My concern is if they move that fence, um, then the thing is we're, we're, you know, they can move it anywhere and then we won't get it back. There is, is, um, we could have there 180,000. I don't know. I think we need to go back <laughs> and, and uh, that's that's too much fencing to, you know, like a, you know, I think that that was part parcel. Okay. Am I wrong? No, I I, I agree with you because I I, I yeah. was sure that part of that was back to the original. Mayor Council, staff 
are happy to go back and um, and request additional fencing so that we can fence off the 1800 meters that requires it. Um, in the meantime, we do still require direction from council or confirmed direction on where the fencing will be installed. The thing is, Councilor Franklin, yeah, is that you're willing to go with the recommendation, but would you like a third bullet in there uh, that said uh, that we go back to Costa Gasly and and request um, all of the um, all of the fencing, which we understood was part of it. I know is. Can I just get clarification from staff? Is are they talking that it's 1938 feet is what we're going to get? Or I'm I'm lost here where yes, Mayor Council, the lineal feet that CGL is donating is 1938, which includes three zones. Yeah. Okay. To me it sounds like we're getting everything. I just think it's an interpretation. I would ask for clarification because that's roughly on Google. That's 1,800 meters and 1,938 could be meters. I think we should ask. Yeah. You, you think that it, it could be not feet and meters instead? I don't know, but I can find out for sure. Okay, because we, we, we really <laughs> want, want that. Like that's what I I went back and measured it, and the thing is mm -hmm. is in, in I talked to the CEO on last week and I said this is this is a third of what we've been committed yeah. day. Uh, th that's my thought. When I start to see three gates, uh, the two big doubles and then an entry gate, that that and that sounds like everything. Meters could, could be an easy mistake to say, correct? Yeah. yeah. Well it's better to ask first yeah. 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 in her face for yeah. yelling and screaming first. Yeah, I agree with the mayor though. I I think we were getting everything. And uh, that certainly, was definitely mine. Yeah. In our meeting last week, uh, Gerald, is they never once flinched. You know, they just said, you know, yeah, you're, you know, we're going to get you that. Or said this part. I said that includes all the gates because that was my question, and they said yes, it includes all the gates. Okay, so do we need to have the third bullet there? Like, I really want all the fancy. I'm just, I'm really. So to the mayor and council, you don't need the third bullet. Um, we will go back and ask for clarification on is it feet or meters, and if it is feet, ask for the remainder of the fencing that was on on the site. Um, so I I think it if council wants to leave the resolution as is, it's for the motion as is, it's functional for our purposes. You made that motion. Do we have a motion on the floor already, Ethan? Move the recommendation, Ethan. Get the and then move it to 2023 deliberations. I'll second that. All in favor? Opposed? <clears throat> Municipal Finance Authority. Mayor Council, there's a recommendation before you to authorize a borrowing of up to $350,000. Uh, for the purpose of purchasing a new dump truck um, with a five year repayment period. And our director of finance is here to answer any questions that council may have. I'll second that. <clears throat> any questions? <clears throat> so I'm a little gun shy here right now. So are you telling me that this 350,000 is only cost us 10 grand? Only two thousand annually. Yeah. So that's ten grand. We're paying back three hundred sixty thousand for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I'm understanding the question. <laughs> well, we're paying back three hundred sixty thousand. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. The interest is low still right now. Bye bye. <laughs> Two more trucks. Yeah, exactly. That's unbelievable. 
I think it's 1.96 or something right now. It's just small. <laughs> All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, second UBCN convention. Um, I'm not sure. Um, there's only one counselor that possibly could fit into this. Uh, the, the chief is busy that entire week. And uh, the other counselors sound like they are, um, you know, but I don't know. Is there any, any desire to offer to uh, members of SICKI's 